Okay, welcome to Samsung. It's 2022. We're at Infocom and we are showing our interactive panel and it is the Flip Pro. So they have added some features to this that I'm going to go through. There are only two menus, very simple to understand, very easy to pick up. Your first menu is going to be how I'm going to get anything onto the board, how I want to take content that I've already created, get it onto the board so I can just start the ground running. So I can connect with a mobile device with my PC, wired or wireless. I can use Smart View Plus, which is a way that students can put their content up to six students at a time on the board so the teacher can then look at what is going on um, with those students and what they're working on. There is a native browser also and a Samsung workspace. These are the included. These you can think of them as hyperlinks. You can add up to five links beneath those. So any of your education apps that you're using on a regular basis, you're going to want to have those in the workspace as well. And then your file, file browser is just going to show any downloaded files that you've had. If I had a USB plugged in, that would show up right here as well, and I'd be to ac able to access that as well. Your other menu is how to get anything that you've created onto the board, off the board, and to who you want it to go to. If I did a review lesson, I want to send that out to my students. Right after, I can just hit the at, and that will send that to that group of students, along with my notes and my presentation that I went through in class. I can also print it download it onto a USB drive, network drive. If I have a non-interactive screen, I can also share to that screen that is in the room. Your other menu is going to be what you're going to use when you're using the whiteboard itself. There is pen mode, and then there's also an artistic brush mode that you can use actual paint brushes. Your color palette, which you can access through the menu bar, or you can just tap and hold, your palette will pop right up, and you can get very color specific within that palette. We also have a selection of math tools that you can manipulate, change their size, uh, the protractor, ruler, triangles, ways to make shapes that are absolutely correct. And then we have our capture tool. If I want to focus on something within my lesson, I can take a picture of that, and it will show up right behind my live instance or right next to, I can then manipulate that picture. So if this is off my presentation and I am writing my notes alongside of that, when I send this out to my students, they know that that is what I'm referring to in my notes. Then we also have a way to look at what you've created in the lesson. I've only done one page on this role so far, so that's what it's showing. So if I have to toggle between slides, I can do that as well. This is our note overlay feature. If I want to write over a video, I can now write over a video. And I then can choose to save that or not after I close it out. It will ask me every time, do you want to save those notes you made? I can do it over a document, a video, any file that I have showing on my panel. And then we also have a mini board, so this will just pop up your post-it notes. You can change the color, you can change the size, and even when you X out of the mini board, when it comes back up, when you pull it back up, it will still have the writing you had on it in the first place. And then we have our menu that's going to show you. Everything is saved automatically on every page of the roll. I can move my roll using the bezel at the bottom, or I can use this little toggle. So it's saved automatically, you don't need to use the save. And then we also have our role browser. This acts like a library of every lesson I've ever taught. I can title them and I can have them done by name or by date. So I can access a lesson I created six months ago immediately and see what the notes that I took on that. Or if a student wants to see it as a review. And then I can also lock those roles. So if, a t if you're sharing a classroom, you can use your code to lock it up and then it's grayed out in the role browser. 
And then we also have a form section. The top four were added by via USB. And then the bottom ones, these are all the ones you can change to that come native to the board. And then just the settings and a how to use. So it's very simple, very easy to use, very easy to pick up. For more information on this product, you can go to samsung.com and